If you would like to have your home, but you make small amount of money, then you need to watch this video till the end. A lot of people get so frustrated when they're building a house because they have started, but the money is slowly coming in and daily things are getting higher. And then they start to think, I'm never going to finish. And then they just want to give up. You don't have to give up. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step guidelines on what to do and what not to do. And if you follow these steps, I am guaranteed you're going to have your house in no time. And you're also going to be happy afterwards. A lot of people will tell you when you're building a house, the main thing to do is invest and then build your house, in which I agree 100%. But let's say you're not in the position to invest and you get some quick cash. For example, you didn't really expect it. Some family inheritance, some insurance, are you winning some money and you didn't really expect that money. So you get a $15 million. And remember, yesterday you had no money and today you have $15 million. And you're like, you know, so excited. You want to just go ahead and start building your house because most people would really like to have their own home. They don't have to be knocking and asking someone to let them inside. They don't have to be paying rent at the end of the month or stuff like that. They just want to be so convenient and relaxed knowing that I build this for myself. Don't just rush. Getting $15 million without working and not knowing where the next penny is coming from. Don't just rush and to say, I'm going to start building something. Take it step by step because a lot of people get this opportunity and they make a choice in which they could they, they wish they could turn back the hands of time i am telling you because what they do they rush they just start building this big house not knowing how much it's going to cost to complete the, the house and for example maybe the house is um a eight bedroom house they're building and it costs something like 30 million they only have 15 so it's like taking it halfway and then it's not complete they're just hanging there now and saying crossing my finger i'm going to soon get some more money so i can complete this house and then one year turn into five year and five year turn into 10 years and then a decade has passed and the house is still not complete so you don't want to fall into that trap another thing that you need you have to um try to understand is where am i going to build this house is it going to be a place where i can sell the house is it going to be a place i can get the house to rent is the land going to be any issue behind it for example if someone is going to give you an opportunity to build a house make sure the person have fully access over the land you don't want to be building your house and then you have to see watch your house being demolished because someone was trespassing or something like that so make sure you get all these things in order before you start building remember this is the only money you have and you don't know when you're going to get the next dime so you cannot just throw it away so you take it step by step try to have a full understanding of what you're doing because for example if you spend that 15 million dollars wisely and you invest some of it that can multiply in something else you could be building your house and earning at the same time and for example your house will be continually growing slowly but you'll be getting there and you'll be having something that is making a little money on the side so this 15 million dollars you're not just going to push it on a house that is going to go boop, and then it's paused right there you're going to invest it in something and you're going to watch the investing start to grow and then from that investment you will take a little part and you put towards the house so don't just go and put that all that money on a house and that house probably is not going to earn you any money if you're building the house for business purpose let's say you're building the house to sell it well i can understand that you are investing to do to, to, to sell the house are you going to rent or something like that but if you're just building it to just live inside of it and you don't know when you're going to get the next dime well that's a big big mistake because even if you complete it what sense would it make to have a five bedroom house living inside of it and you have nothing coming in it doesn't make any sense how are you going to maintain that house how are you going to pay the bills for that house it's just not going to make any sense at all another thing now for the people who actually rent a house many of times someone is trying to get a job in kingston but they live in the country area so let's say that where you're able to get a job is far away from home 
and you will not be able to be leaving home daily to be getting to work so you go ahead and you try to you know rent a place that is close to work and maybe you don't have a family member you can go and stay with and maybe it's not even convenient to go and stay with someone so you rather to go and rent a house well i do understand that but let's say you are able to get to work from where you are but your house is not so convenient and you want something better but you're able to bear with it so now i am going to show you how you can build your house without feeling overwhelmed feeling frustrated as if you will never get there earning a small amount of money the first thing you're going to need is discipline and like i said maybe you're living in a house that is not so comfortable but you're able to bear with it so it's not the best but it's also not the worst so you're able to go to work and you're planning to go and rent somewhere but where you are at the moment you're able to get to work on time and let's say you're earning a hundred thousand dollars per month so you'll be earning probably like twenty five thousand dollars per week and the rent that you were planning to pay if you had gone to rent somewhere would have been like thirty thousand dollars let's just put it right there thirty thousand dollars per month you are going to be disciplined enough to act as if you're still paying rent so that thirty thousand dollars you're going to put it away each month you're going to put away a thousand dollars per day if you're disciplined enough to say i am going to put away this thirty thousand dollars towards my house and this money is not going to be spent on anything else except my house what you're going to do you're not just going to be spending that thirty thousand dollars each month towards your house because for example thirty thousand dollars is not going to buy nothing much maybe you can buy some block maybe you can buy some cement or stuff like that but if you buy those things so small you, you, you'll not be able to put those things down for a long time so you're not just going to rush into that thirty thousand dollars you're going to give it some time to increase so so after let's say after four months you're able to see yourself with about a hundred and twenty thousand dollars if i'm doing my maths correctly you're not just going to spend that 120 immediately first of all you're thinking about the type of house you're building and how large you're going to build that house so this money you're saving it towards your house remember like i said you have to have discipline so you have hundred and twenty thousand dollars in that bank account it's your birthday i know you want to go out and enjoy yourself you're going to act as if you don't have no money because if you cannot be disciplined enough to say i'm going to use this money towards this project and every time something comes up you change and you go into it and you use that money towards something else you will not reach far so what you're going to do you're going to act you're going to let some of these things that would have sucked so much money out of you pass by forget about the birthday it is not a shame to not be able to do all these things for a few for a few years it's not a shame a lot of people who are very successful today there are way more successful than you and i they don't even celebrate these things they just appreciate life and appreciate god for sparing them to see another here but what they're going after is for something greater when you get there you'll be able to celebrate so much birthday in your own house the only way you will ever touch this money unless there is a serious emergency or you see an opportunity to get this money increased so let's say you have been saving for several months and you are up to like you know 300,000 or something you'll be saving for like about a year and you're you, you'll be able to save in and here you'll be able to save what 300 and probably sixty thousand dollars and you see an opportunity in multiplying that money that is the only way you will you're going to touch that money because it's always good to have a little spare money because many of times some good opportunity comes our way and we are able to go at that at, at those opportunity several times i've seen people traveling they have a car that is valued for about a million dollars they could sell it for like eight hundred thousand and they are selling it for like five hundred thousand because they needed the money 
for an emergency or something if you get a deal like that go ahead and do your investment after all you're only increasing your money so a lot of people will say i am not risking my money you're not risking your money investing is not risk investing is a part of the process everyone that you see that is really really successful they invest most of them they work hard then they save and then they invest it's a part of the process because if you get a million dollar and you put it in your bank account even if you're taking out a thousand dollars yearly the only way that money will not be finished unless you don't live that long but it's going down 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 so investing your money you will have to do that if you get the opportunity you do your research you know it's going to be a win for you invest your money and get your money to be multiplied so let's say you do an investment and from three or four hundred thousand you're not you're now up to eight hundred thousand or something like that and you're ready to start the house because you're getting there and remember this money is towards the house and the only reason why you touch this money is because you see an opportunity in multiplying this money so you take that you take advantage of that opportunity and now you are at a higher level now if you're going to start your house and you have eight hundred thousand don't just spend the eight hundred thousand dollars at once because remember you're still making a little amount of money you don't know you don't know what is going to happen so you cannot just risk it all into something that is not going to be completed so spend for example around four hundred thousand dollars and that is able to start doing a little of the foundation so let's say you want to have a four bedroom house don't start with laying out the four bedroom foundation start with like one do it as small as possible you will always be able to add on to that house just for example if you know you're going to be adding over there just leave the space don't just start in the middle you go to this little corner section and you leave those places so you can always had additional rooms to your house so because for example the money that you would be spending to lay out to do it to do to do the foundation for a five bedroom house that money alone could start a one bedroom that will be almost complete and then after completing this room and you're able to live inside of this room you'll be able to continue on this room because a lot of times i see people build several rooms and none of the rooms are complete and they're just still living casual and they could get one of those rooms complete so well and then they will be slowly adding on so always take it step by step don't rush and you will definitely get there so i think i've said so much let's let's do a review first of all you're going to save towards your rent even though you're not paying rent act as if you're still paying rent the next thing you're going to be disciplined tell yourself this is towards this project and i'm not going to use it towards something else have to be disciplined on what you're doing another thing if you get an opportunity to invest your money and to get it increased take the opportunity don't let it pass you by after all you're just making a higher jump to getting there faster so and another thing don't just be too quick to spend these small amount of money onto your house so for example you're you're saving thirty thousand dollars per month don't, don't just be spending that thirty thousand dollars every month towards the house put it away in a safe little spot that you know it's going to be all right even if you have to take it to the bank but make sure you don't touch that money that money is towards the house remember you're you're paying rent and if you want good in life you will have to be able to make sacrifice so when it's your birthday forget about these things when you could have be having three or four meals per day sometime you'll have to have two one day you'll be able to have three and four in your house so i do hope that you have learned something from this video and i do hope that you get your dream house so take this advice if you're not working if you're not working and you get a quick money for example someone 
leave some inheritance like I say some insurance money or you win some money I don't know but let's say you get some quick money don't just go and spend all that money into a house take the advice that I leave in the beginning make sure you know where you're going to build this house how much this house is going to cost try to do something with some of that money that will continually bringing in money that you'll be able to keep building on to your house so guys i thank you so much do hope you have learned something let us know in the comment section you thought about this video and also be sure to be a part of the greens family